everybody let's share the video about uh, a frivolous call being made to Department of Adult Protectives um, in regards to me by who the Vermont State Police now I'm gonna have you know I've already shared with you the fact that these people started making frivolous reports when I started making reports to DHS, DCF, in regards to Kevin abusing myself, my daughter, and my grandson. So keep paying attention here because this is a series. I'm going from January 2021 right through to the current date of February 22. And I'm going to share all the videos with you and proof of information because I want everybody to know what has happened from date to date and what led up to my daughter's disappearance and my grandson being taken away as well as my daughter and I being illegally kicked out of our apartments never got our stuff and we have never seen our grandson again you hold on when I say violation of rights I mean it from a microphone or something 
so loud that I was on the other end of the building in my apartment and Tiffany could hear it and it's recorded. I called three times to make sure that they could hear it from 9 o'clock until 11 o'clock and it's all recorded. So every conversation that I have is recorded. I am a legal advisor. I am a pro se litigant. I have 83 billion plus multi-million filed. Look it up, November 23rd, 2019. It's on the front page of Caledonia Record News. I was running for state representative 2020 because of this legal, illegal organized crime. So before you people want to call in, harass me, and violate my constitutional rights, as well as many other rights, you perhaps might not think about that, okay? Because I do know what's going on in my life, and when I make a report, it's based on facts. My grandson, you can walk down the hall of this third floor apartment building right now, and you can smell the marijuana coming out of that apartment. Okay. I also have noticed, and I have plenty of messages to my daughter, letting her aware back in December that people were talking about her roommate, who shouldn't even be living there because the state pays her rent, and she's on SSI. Okay. He so wasn't paying rent, but. He didn't pay it to the landlord. He bought things for the apartment. I did, but TJ Donovan and Jeff Eaton seem to it that it was dismissed, but they've done more since, so we've got new to file in Washington. And then they blame my daughter. My daughter didn't even smoke marijuana. So why did they allow Brianna to be abused? And then take my grandson in June. And they abused my daughter some more. By locking her up. Charged her with the bullshit that Kevin was doing. That would be Brianna's friend. Okay. Okay. I don't care. I was just glad to check in on you. Brianna was a friend to her. She hasn't been much of a friend to Brianna. She let her job get in the way. Mind you, this is last year, 2021. February of 2021. And this led up to my daughter being missing. And then Vermont State Police calling me to tell me to go make medical decisions about my daughter. Just a couple months ago. February 2021. 
right now. You're hearing it. This is February 2022. Keep going. You tell him about it. So that right there tells you why my grandson is in the hands of somebody else. It's not because I was abusing anybody. It's not because my daughter was doing anything wrong. It's because we were being abused. And the state has a habit of giving the abusers the children. And the state and the government agencies and their disciples have what? A history of being the abusers.